One crook, whether it's criminal or not, it's not for me to judge, is Martin Payne, with an E on the end of the Payne, who has taken lease beyond the sleaze, just adding a letter on the beginning, into an art form. He owns a number of short, short leases where the person who wants to sell them has to get an extension. And my understanding is he's offered informal extensions that are legally valid. If you have a formal extension, the ground rent reverts to virtually nothing. His informal leases would contain a provision of doubling the ground rent every 10 years or so, but written into the lease in such a way that even experienced solicitors fail to find the wording or connect the clauses together. So the person who may be a first-time buyer on a low-value flat discovers they're getting asked for ground rents which are enormously high. And they're enormously high because Martin Payne has written the provision back to the first granting of the lease, not to the time of extension. So you might have a flat worth £150,000 being asked for thousands of pounds a year in ground rent and the prospect of it going up. When the lease holder complains, Mr Payne's practice, as I understand it, is to say, sue your solicitor. So my recommendation is to the indemnity insurance societies for solicitors to get together, I think they can do without being a cartel, and say, what pattern of claims have we had from those we insure, the solicitors, to see if this crookedness can be stopped? Mr Martin Payne would then occasionally buy back the flat at a low price and then remarket it with the same terms. To do it once could be regarded as incompetence. To do it twice on the same property is, I think, deserves the word crooked.